the song, the song written by Stuart Staple and the music, the singer is Robert Edison. Woo! You always say that Robert Pattinson can do just about anything. Yeah, he's a musician too, you know. Yeah, that's true. And he's a great singer. Mm -hmm. Can you tell a little bit about uh, writing the role, uh, creating this, this role for him, and then finding him? What was it about Robert Pattinson that made you want him for this role? Um, I, I don't want it to make it a legend, but the thing is, I would never have thought of Robert Pattinson if he had um, made me know that he wanted to work with me, and I was not, I was surprised. I thought, what a guy like him? So that, why me, you know? So I was slightly afraid in a way. And then, then I thought he was maybe too young, too iconic. And then when I met him, really, and I realized what a, a nice person, a intriguing, mysterious guy, and so much more than just good looking. Yeah. Um, although it matters. <laughs> But but he was carrying so much, you know, and I thought he was going to bring me a lot. So of course I I was immediately it transformed the film, actually. Mm -hmm. This is your first feature in English, but also it's a science fiction film in a way. Uh, science fiction can be giant Hollywood blockbusters, but they that form can also open itself to, to more interesting uh, personal explorations, which I think you've done here. Can you tell us what was most interesting about the science fiction genre for you? Um, I said what could be worse than to be in the space, uh, a man alone in the space, everybody is dead around him, and it's so far from the solar system that there is no hope for any return and he, he cannot commit suicide because he's in charge of that baby that it's his daughter and of course he, he cherishes her and of course he knows it, it's going to be a tragic situation when she would grow up because he would be the only man for her, you know? And the situation is like a double jail. They are in jail, they are condemned, convict, uh, guinea pigs for scientific reason, and um, surrounded by, in a jail you can always dream, you can smell, the, the rain maybe, or imagine if something happened, maybe I, I would be able to run away. But in the void, there is no runaway. No. And I thought, um, that was the extra gem, you know? Claire, it seems that you've uh, shocked some people with this film. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I agree. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I, I, I agree with you. Me, I never thought it was shocking because I thought in jail people are so close to each other. They can read. I've been reading a text written by an astronaut that said they, they know their smell, you know? They, they know. They, they know exactly if by the smell if someone is sick, you know, because they're so close, you know. And and yet it's also which is not probably for the astronaut that are sent around in the solar system, but for a long imaginal trip, uh, 